Hey guys, welcome back to another video on email.js. A lot of you guys might have already watched my previous video and were able to set up your email.js service. And thank you guys for leaving some awesome comments in that previous video. Now, I got a lot of comments from you guys as well saying that there has been some changes in the email.js website and especially with the auto reply feature. So in this video, I'm going to show a new way of setting up the template and also set up your auto reply feature as well. If you're in this video just for that auto reply part, then you can skip to that section. But if you're someone who's watching this video for the first time, then you can follow along with me to set up your email there service and send email from your website. Okay, so let's get started. At first, you will need a contact form in your project to send the email. I'll quickly show you my contact form. So this is my basic contact form for this demonstration. I assume you already have a contact form, but if not, at first create that. And after you have that contact form, click on email.js. Now, if you do not have email.js account, then you can create a free account. Or if you have an account, then you can just sign in. For now, I'll just sign in. Okay, so once you're in, you will see a blank page. I already have one email service because I have my previous setup. So what you can do is just click on add new service and you can use any services available over here. In this demonstration, I will be using email. So I'll click on that. After that, you get service ID, which we will need later on. But for now, you can just leave it as it is. Now you will need to connect your email account on which you want to send your emails to. So click on this connect and you can choose or input whichever email account that you want. I'll select the one that I want and you might need to grant few access or permissions. You can do that, but as my email already has some access, I don't have to set it up. Okay, so once we are done with that, you will see connected as your email account over here. Now, once that is done, let's go to this email templates and create a new template. Now this template is what you will usually see in your email inbox. So here you will set the subject. We will remove everything from here and keep only the subject. And down here, click this edit content button. And here you can put your name. Simply just type in your name. So I'll just put my name as code easy. After that, you see that we have a text saying you got a new email from so remove from and just keep name and lastly just get rid of the signature as well that's it now save it once that's done you can go to your right hand side and to email will be your email on which it will send the email to and from name you can just remove that and add name that's it now save it once that is done on the second tab, you can see auto reply. In this auto reply, you can set up your auto reply message. You can see there is no template link when you click on the drop down. This is because we only set up the template for email. We need to now set up the separate template for auto reply feature. Now, why they implemented this new feature for auto reply is to have a separate template for auto reply so that you can use this same template for multiple different email templates, which basically saves a lot of time. Now let's go back to email template and create a new template. And this template will now be for the auto reply. So simply over here, you can write subject as auto reply and down here, click on edit. You can get rid of everything and just type in, thank you for your inquiry. We will get back to you shortly and save changes. That's it. And finally, you apply the changes. Once that is done, go back here. This over here will be your email template and this over here will be your auto reply template. Now let's go to the previous email template and inside this auto reply, click on the drop down and select your auto reply template. You apply the changes. Your email auto reply template is now set up. Remaining is to set this up in your contact form. So now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and in your contact form, you basically need to add a few lines of script tag from email JS docs. So in your index.html, you have to add that script tag. Now let's go back to email JS and over here you can see 
docs you click on that and scroll down to installation down here in this browser script you can copy that and paste it in your visual studio code just after this title or link tag after that you will need to set up your public key to get this public key you go back to your email js click on your account and get the public key from here copy that public key and back to your visual studio code just paste it right here okay you're done with that we will then need a separate script.js file to actually trigger and send email to email.js and that will send all the data from contact form to your email that you just set up now let's create a new script.js file and link that file in your html just below the form and go to the script file now i've already set up send email function but i will quickly take you through this so that you know what this does at first we define a function and inside that function we have constant as template params what this holds is an object with key value pair where keys are name email subject and message and values are simply the input values respectively now once you get all these values last thing left to do is to use use the emailjs.send function to send this value to emailjs this is a built-in function provided by emailjs which you can find in emailjs doc now let's go back to visual studio code and get rid of this code so that you can follow along first type in emailjs.send inside this send you will have your service id template id and template params you see we already have template params so we don't need to worry about that but what do we do with the service id and template id so for that now you just go back to email.js click on email services select the service you will see service id you simply copy the id go back to visual studio code and simply paste it here as a string similarly with template id go back select templates click on email template not the auto reply one click on the actual template and go to settings and copy the template from there and paste it in visual studio code as a string that's pretty much it with the setup now if you want to make it a little bit better so that you can see the alert when the email is sent successfully or failed you can add dot then inside this dot then you add a callback basically alerting as email sent if for some reason the email is not sent add this in the catch block saying email not sent and this is done now go back to your index.html file if you haven't already linked your script.js file then do that and lastly we need to call the send email function that we set up in script.js file now add that send email function in the button tag inside the on click and also make sure that the type of button is button now once you're done with adding the function call we now need to test if the contact form is actually working or not now simply type in all the details like i'm doing here and try to use the correct email address so that you can check if the auto reply feature is working or not once done click on send and you can see that we got the alert saying email sent now let's go back to email and check if we actually received the email or not here you can see the email that we sent has been received which is similar to what i sent from the contact form also let's check the auto reply you can see that we also got the auto reply email as well that's it guys that's how you set up your email their service in contact form and send email with updated template thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one